Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part two of our Easter colour along in Hannah Carlson's Seasons. So, if you haven't caught part one, I'll pop it up here, the little eye up here. And if you hover your mouse over it and click on it, it will take you to part one. So this is where we left it. We'd used ink tents and Prismacolor pencils. And um, I've got to 1 hour 22, I think the video was, and I was rushing um, and doing, trying to do things that I thought would speed it up. And <clears throat> I just thought, this is no good. Just cut it and do two parts. So my apologies, but if you've watched part one, thank you so much for joining me. I've really enjoyed bringing you this Easter page. I want to change up my daffodils a little bit. I want to add more colour, if that's possible. But I do. I want to add more colour to the centre and um, and some white to these bits. And um, while I was playing, before I cut the video, um, one of the things I was rushing was this um, soil down here. And what I've done was taken jasmine, that does say jasmine, believe it or not, taken jasmine and gone round in certain places and lightened up and added that colour to certain bits, particularly around the gems. And then I'm going to take the canary yellow and I'm going to add that in too. And it just, it's just going to lift that up. just add a little bit more interest and variation hopefully it will make it look a little bit like our um, gems have a bit of a glow there we go a little bit round here a bit of jasmine I've done the jasmine and I just thought well I was going to come back on camera and just say oh I've done that but it's nice to be able to show you and not panic and rush to get it done. I mean, if you're watching, you're watching and you want to do it with me rather than um, me telling you what I've done when I come back on camera, which is not really very good. So that's my explanation. There we go. So it's now currently um, 10 to 12 at night. So it, this will be um, Saturday. Well, in, a, in 10 minutes, it will be Saturday. And um, I'd gone to bed because I was exhausted. I thought, well, I'll finish it off. My lovely friend Emmy on Instagram was like, Lucy, step away, give yourself a break. But my brain would not switch it off. So I came in, did the, sh did the film for saying goodbye on the first part. And um, here I am back. That's, that's what's been going on in my head. Ridiculous, I know. Right. Okay. Let's look at these daffodils. Now, you're probably thinking, well, they're bright enough as it is. But I want to just spice it up a little. So, I've got these colours. Permanent red, yellowed orange and canary yellow. I'm going to take the permanent red. These are Prismacolor pencils, if I didn't say. Um, I'm going to take the permanent red and I'm just going to put a bit more sort of linear strokes around the base here, particularly up here. Now I could have done this initially with ink tents but like I said earlier it's nice to play and experiment and then see what you've got and add to it isn't it? Yellowed orange i put a little bit of that in, that will um, sort of blend in with that mango. And it's just hopefully going to give us a little bit more depth. That's all I want, a little bit more interest. Okay, then our canary yellow and we'll do some smushing. Smush. There we go. So we have, it's not... Um, it's not too much difference, um, yellowed orange up here, a little bit I've missed out there, but it will make a big difference, I think, anyway. They, it's, the, it's the little details that you do, isn't it, that really make a difference when you're doing these pages. So, 
There we go. Just going to deepen up in there. Okay. A bit more um, of our yellowed orange. Can you see everything? Yeah, you can. Good. So once again, happy Easter to you all if you celebrate Easter. Um, if you don't, I hope you're enjoying um, the bank holidays that we've got coming up. So it's not Saturday, it's Friday. It's Good Friday today. It's because my husband's off um, tomorrow. So well, you lose all track of time, don't you? you? When you're not working, you lose all track of time. Okay, I'm rolling the sleeves up. Now, for these bits, I'm not going to do too much different. I've got um, a white Posca, but I really feel that this should lift it, I hope. So I'm going in and I'm going to cover those black lines. Just felt it needed, what I should have done possibly was left some white space on the leaves. And if it's too white, tough, no, <laughs> if it's too white I can go back over with um, a softer yellow or a softer orange and bring that back out, but I think it'll look pretty cool. And it should show off our really beautiful orange centre and give us that soft subtle look for the edge okay I might go back over that my Posca's not they never behave when you want them to and then this frill at the top just round here Not all the way down, just on the top edge. There. Just a little bit of Posca white. There we go. What do you think? Do you think that looks better than those or not? Well, let's just carry on <clears throat> and we'll see. If we don't like it, like I say, we can go back over it. but I think it's going to be pretty. Anyway, it's not the be all and end all. If you don't like it, you don't have to add it, but um, just had a bit of a brainwave that I wanted this additional colour. And um, I didn't want to go back in with more water medium on the page because I would like the page to be less crinkly. It's not too bad. As you can see, it's a little warped, but it's not that bad. Okay. Now I think that looks really pretty. Let's just do that bit. If this wasn't double sided we could have stuck some glossy accents on. I'm a bit obsessed with glossy accents at the minute. Alright. Let's Okay. We're gonna white out that dot and that one. I think it's pretty. Okay, what do you think guys? I'm faffing now but I can afford to because we've we've done this video I've done this video for a reason. Okay, let's finish it off. We can't make a decision until 
you've seen it properly done but I think I'm probably going to go with that just on the um, outside petals not on the trumpet part Just doing this one with you. I won't make you sit and watch me do a whole page of white Posca because that would be traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just couldn't stop worrying about it. I thought I'm going to have to get up and do it. It's funny how things play on your mind that shouldn't. I'm just making sure I've covered up the black lines. Okay, I think that's gorgeous. I really like that. That's lifted that so much better. Now, I've got a yellow Posca, so any paint marker you've got, and I'm gonna do, I don't know what these bits are called. Somebody always tells me in the comments very kindly, and I always go ahead and forget. And then what I'm going to do with those is add a little bit of pink when that's dry to the bottom of those. So we've got some difference. Okay, I like it, but I'm not sure about that, um, the white Posca there. I might stick some yellow over it. That's good, that's cool. I like that. There we go. That's quite nice, I like that. <clears throat> Could have a bit of orange going up into it. There we go. Alright. thinking to myself okay so we have to wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna add some pink I am gonna go off and pep up all the flowers now I've done it I'm gonna go with the flow um, so I will be back very shortly and we should have some really spiced up um, these daffodils <laughs> see you in a sec okay Daffodils done, mostly. Um, we are going to take, I really like the white outline, actually. So I think it really boosts it. We are going to take, if I can move everything out of my way, just very simply, let's come in. So where I've put the yellow Posca, which is now dry, we're going to take hot pink. I know, bizarre, but it looks cool. So I'm going to take a little bit of hot pink and push that in. Just at the base of those um, little polleny things that somebody, lovely subscriber, keeps telling me the name of and I keep doing my due diligence and forgetting. <laughs> okay, so we've pushed a little bit of pink in each of those. Just because we get that um, yellow and pink um, mixing, which makes that nice sort of peachy tone. I really like the look of it. Okay, come up here and then fade it out. Gosh, there's so much gone on on this page, isn't there? We've done a lot. Oh, I hope you could see that. I am not really doing much. I'm just putting it dark at the bottom and fading it out. 
a lot of changes in the process. A lot of um, I've done a lot of experimenting, which is good. Which is a good thing. Okay, that just stops them being so flat and boring in the center. Not that anybody could accuse my daffodils of being boring. Okay, that's going to introduce a little bit of pink to the scene. Okay, that's that bit done. Let's focus on our little chicks. Right, now I've just smushed all my tickets out of the way. I want these greens. I'm going to bring greens down because we haven't got much green in the picture. So we're going to use greens for our little king one. So you have to be quite careful here because they're tiny spaces um, and I don't want to smush colours. So we've got olive green, can you see, no, I'm going to have to come out slightly, just a tad, there we go. Olive green, sap green light and pale sage, gorgeous combination. And I was going to do the crowns gold, you know, the usual, but actually I think the little chicks have used the things from nature around them to make their adornments. <laughs> just ignore me folks, it's early in the morning and I'm just having one of those moments. Okay, olive green at the top and there. Sap green light and just bring that up enough to f and leave a little bit of white space. There we go. And then our pale sage. I might need to sharpen that, it's got a broken tip. And then just pull that down. There. Just going to sharpen that pale sage. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to do the same here. So um, olive green, bring that down. Olive green there. Pale say, uh, sap green light, sorry. And then pale sage. Now I was going to um, put a lovely rich purple in there, but I see that the daffodil comes behind the crown, so I'm assuming that Hannah wanted it as an open crown. Maybe it was too heavy for his little head to be solid. Who knows? But I shall respect Hannah's wishes. Oh, pointless sharpening that, wasn't it? Get off. Okay, nearly there. Just fill that little bottom bit in. Can make that darker. There we go. We'll do the same here. So the olive green, can you see? If I get my hand out of the way, you can. <laughs> olive green. Put the olive green in there. Bit of the sap green, uh, yeah, sap green light, got it right. And then the pale sage. Pale sage that I've just snapped the end off again. There we go. And we are going to, I'm going to turn you around, we are going to do the middle of his crown. So I'm going to fill those in with a, a, a paint pen, Posca pen, I expect, because it's just too tiny to try and navigate around that and get a nice blend.
So we'll put enough of that green in. Then we're going with sap green light. I am going to avoid our little gems. We'll come out with that sap green light. And then you guessed it, pale sage. Gone over that little gem a little bit. Darn it. Okay. Right, now the next combination we're going to use for His Majesty is the, the um, ones we did for the flowers. So the combination we did for the flowers. I will turn you back level, shall I? Yes. So we're going to use um, black grape, violet and lilac. So... Sorry, I'm going to have to twist you again. So I'm going in with our black grape. I'm going to make that nice and dark at the edge. And down here. Avoiding his fluff or his feathers. Um, then we're going in with um, violet. And then lilac. Go across the entire thing. I'm just going to go back in that corner with that black grape. Okay, violet down here. Just trying to avoid his um, fur, but if I, his feathers. But if I go over it, I go over it. It cannot be helped. And then lilac. And we're going to put that in the centre of his crown. So a tiny bit there of black grape, tiny bit of the blue violet, and then lilac in the centre. At the top here on the little, um, I'm going to say he's nicked a berry. Black grape in just around the bottom edge. Violet. And then lilac at the top there. And we'll put a little highlight in with the Posca pen later. There we are. And <clears throat> these are also going to be... Now what colour should we make them? Do we make them the violet? Yes, I think we'll go in with violet for these little ones. The mid-tone. Very regal. Here we go. That's cute. Okay, we're going to try and do these. So a tiny bit, I'm going to do a tiny bit of black grape at one edge of each of them. There we go. Then the violet. Tiny, teeny spaces, but it's worth it. Okay, and then lilac. Did I miss that one out? I think I did. Look. And then lilac. Okay, isn't that cute? So we're now going to go back to our greens, which are here. And we are going to, their ties are meeting. So that is going to be the green. And we're going to make that the same on each little chick. So back in with our olive, then our sap green. And then our pale sage. Just going to darken up that corner. We're going to do the same on this little chick. Can you see? Okay. Olive green there and there. A little bit by that knot. Uh, 
you gaffed it. I think you get the drill. <laughs> Now we're going to do the knot. Same colours. Olive green. There we go. So I hope you've got, all got plans for the bank holiday. Um, tomorrow the weather's supposed to be glorious. I think I've, I said that in part one, but um, my eldest son and grandson are coming for the day today now. Um, so I'm hoping very much that me and the little fella can enjoy the garden. Bit of sunshine. Okay, I need to bring that Bring that olive up a little bit. Alright, then we're going to bring that down here. And this side. And we'll meet in the middle with the lightest tone and that unites our little chicks and obviously the yellow and green go very well and then I'll show you what we're going to do with her crown okay come down a bit further with that Put it in there, did I? Or did I? Well, I did now. There we go. And then we need to do these bits. And then we can move on to her crown. Just do the tips in the lightest colour. That. Okay. Right. Now, I decided. Right. Well, let's keep the greens out because she's going to have green too. But it's where I'm putting it is the difference. Actually, we'll, we'll switch. We'll switch. We're going to use. Um, Hot pink. I'm just going to block those out just so it's not confusing for you. If I can find one that hasn't got writing on the back. No. There we go. We're going to use hot pink and deco pink for her and then the greens. So I decided it was going in here. Just going to come up a little bit on one side with the hot pink and then we'll just knock that back a little bit with deco pink. I'm doing the pink first over the green because I don't want to drag that green in when I use the lighter colours. Just going to... a bit more hot pink. There we go. Okay, so down the base will be our greens. Can't mix it up. So I have to just decide. So if the base is going to be green, we'll have that green. We'll have these pink. So we'll do hot pink there. And do the same on this bit. Even though it's teeny tiny. And then the deco pink. Um, and green, pink, well, pink there. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, green, 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 pink. Right, so we just put the hot pink in there. Add libbing a little bit, folks, in case you couldn't tell. All right, let's go back to our greens. And we'll put the greens in. So, a little bit of olive green. And the same drill applies. Can you see everything? Oh, yeah, good. There we go. There we are, and we're going to do really carefully around here. Like that. And I'm just going to do um, the mid-tones, the dark and the mid-tone, because I can't squish that all in. Okie dokie. Green. <clears throat> Let's take the dark green. And the mid-green. So olive green and sap green. Hot pink on this side and there, <coughs> of course, and then olive green just on these on a side, one side of these gems. And then our obviously our sap green then. They're just too small to fight with three colours. We go. Oh, we need a bit of green in there, don't we? Olive green there. And sap green. Okay, so they're united now. Only she's pink and he's royal purple. So we just have to do that down here. So, I'm going to make this bit green I'm just going in with the olive green on here I'm just I'm just going to do that bit dark again too tiny to um, navigate different blends on this bit there we are and then we will do our blend here can you see? Yeah, put those colours back there. So olive green. Down there. And then sap green. I think you get the message. I don't need to keep going, do I? It was just placement really to show you where I was putting the colours. Okay, I'll we'll go around there. Alright. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the same with this one. Now which way around am I going to do it? I think we will do... Make that bit green. We go. Bring that round. Just the two colours again. And then that way, because we've only used the two colours, we can, gosh, I'm rambling. 
we can add the olive green to the bottom. Put a bit of olive green in there. There we go. Oh, missed that one. Darn it. Okay. And then the dark green there. Okay, and then let's get our pinks again. So the same as we did for the crown there. We are going to hot pink. Should have done that before I did the green, but if you're following along still and you're not bored rigid, <laughs> um, probably do your pinks first. And then a little bit along the top. And then we'll just put a little bit of that deco pink in. All right, I'm sorry if you're bored. This is the process of colouring. Need a bit of mid green in there. Okay. And hot pink there. So, in those I'm going to do the purples. Where are our purples there? Okay. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go in with violet for these little bits that are left, like we did on his crown here. And we're going to make these little droppy bits violet, like that, and then we're going to start at the top here and make this bit just a tiny bit of black grape, violet and lilac. There we go. So, black grape, violet and lilac. I'm not going to make you suffer any more of that. <laughs> You've watched that enough. Now, where did I put my greens? I will do um, the greens on these bits. So I'm going to go in with the olive and the sap green. Like that. All right. That was a bit of a marathon, wasn't it? Goodness me. It's worth it, though. You, you know that bit of attention so the other bit before I go off and finish those is thank goodness we're onto a new bit now I've squished up all my little tickets there it is my incredibly messy desk I need to look at their little feet so we will come in a little bit there we go so I've got yellow ochre and deco yellow for his feet. So, same for her feet. I'm just going to put the like that and then we'll come in with deco yellow. I didn't want them lost in the background of the um, the mud. And chicken poop. <laughs> All right, now I'm not going to bore you. Um, I'm going to come back out. I'm going to finish him off and the feet off, and then we're going to come back and look at the crystals. All right, my lovely friend, see you in a sec. Okay, folks, this is where I got to. I finished off the little chick's crowns. We're going to bring some colour down the bottom here. I'm going to bring some of the pink in and some blue and green, but bright, nice bright colours. Okay, so it's currently Saturday, um, what 
time is it? 10 past six. I've had my grandson and my son yesterday and today. Uh, oh, it's just been lovely. It's just been absolutely bliss. But it, it's um, as lovely as it is, it's equally bliss to get back to your little piece of heaven in the, your quiet space, isn't it? So, for these larger, chunkier crystals, we're going to use hot pink, deco pink, um, non photo blue, and sky blue, and a little bit of the magic white. So, let's start with this tall crystal here, shall we? We're going to use a hot pink, and I'm going to come in from the top and bring that down. We need some colour down here with the eggshells and the, um, I don't know what you call it, sand, grit, whatever they're on. It's a bit drab compared to our beautiful top part. So then we're bringing deco pink down just to sort of fade that out. I'm going to do a little bit down the back side here of this crystal, making sure we keep that top bit really bright. And then fade that middle bit out. It's okay to leave some white, so that's what I'm going to do. For this bottom part, I'm going to... Where should we put it? Put it wherever we like, really. But I think I'm going to come up here with the non-photo blue. And then fade that out with our sky blue light. Let's do that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, when we've done all the crystals, I'm going to go round that in white. And um, so that will pep that up. Let's do the other one. So I'm going to make that top bit very pink. And I'm going to bring it down. Let's see. Let's bring down this side by next to that blue. Then fade it out with our deco pink. And then we'll bring in our blues. So this side, and I've gone a bit dark there, which is why I've got the white. So let's get knock some of that colour back. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this side we'll put the non-photo blue. And we'll bring that up. Let's do it like that. And a little bit of sky blue light. Like that. Now it looks really bright currently, but when we put that white outline down, like we did on the daffodils, it sort of tones that colour down. So, whoops. So you do need it quite bright, in my opinion. Just knock that back a bit there and there. Okay. So, we're going to do all these ones like that. The other colour I brought in is this light aqua and um, light green and we're going to do these the little ones down here in this combo and I did go you know remember I painted over them so I did go over with a little tiny bit of white Posca so I'm going to take the light aqua and I'm going to put that on the edge there and bring that down now these I, I can't go around because my hands are too shaky. You may be able to. Then we'll go in with light green. So it just gives it a little bit of colour. It's not going to colour over them great because I was lazy and, <laughs> and coloured over everything. So we're going to make some of these the different colours. So currently I've got uh, light aqua. I'm going to put that in just on one edge. We'll make this one. Um, light green, like that, just sort of ad lib. They're not going to be great because I had to posca them because I had the idea of putting colour on once I've painted over them. But I'm just going to sort of randomly pick it's just to brighten it up a little bit down here, that's all. I'm just going to randomly pick. In actual fact, if I hadn't have coloured over them, they'd have coloured better. But never mind, just gives us a bit of colour, just a bit of fun. And right, so what's left? These crystally ones, um, what colour can we do those? 
they're very tiny so maybe we just do um, a combination of the hot pink maybe just do a combination of hot pink deco pink and then on the other ones we'll do the other the other combo that we've got which is the blue so non photo blue and then our sky blue light bring that down like that I think that'll, that'll be cool all right folks let me go off and finish those now I've shown you the colors that I'm going to use and we'll meet back up and we can just cover up those dots with some Posca see you in a sec okay folks here it is I don't know if you're picking up on that um, I went round the eggs with white as well just to lift that bottom I felt it was a bit dull and dreary we've got to put some colour in these little chicks eyes I'd forgotten all about that and then we've just got the dots to fill in so if I bring you right in there we go so remember the colours we used for their feet that's what we're going to put in their eyes so I've got yellow ochre here camera blurry did I just make it blurry okay so we're going to put the yellow ochre in at the bottom like that on each of their little eyes and then the deco yellow around the top and smoosh that in together there we go and then I'm going to take a little bit of um, black just normal black jelly roll my glaze has, um, has dried up unfortunately and I'm going to put that in there. When that's dry, I'll give it a little, they can have a little white dot. A tiny little white dot for a bit of highlight. So that's their eyes and my creaky chair. Right, now I've got two Poscas here. Let me give them a shake. I've got yellow, just yellow and light pink. And I'm going to alternate between the light pink and um, yellow and we're going to get rid of these dots I don't know why I'm putting light pink in I just feel like it <laughs> oh dear it's what comes of spending the day with your grandson nothing is um, nothing is I've just smudged that yes I put my great hand in it never mind nothing is unachievable nothing can't happen I've been taught that today <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do in your imagination so we've had <clears throat> we've built a cardboard box lookout tower yes that was good fun we've had um, out of that cardboard box, cardboard box we were also robots um, we had some foam tubes that we were that became sabre swords and we had great fun bashing each other with those so everything everything is everything is possible folks so in terms of my weekend a little bit of um, pink dotage is perfectly see feasible <laughs> Also, it's pretty. Oh, my hands are really shaky. Also, it's pretty. Okay. All right. Now I don't want to put my great big hand back in any of the others. So let's work sensibly, Lucy. From top. Oh, that's nice and bright. I like that. I must get me the other Posca colours. They've got a really deep red. I really want that one. Um, I got this set when I first started colouring off of Amazon and they just lasted and lasted probably because I just use them for accents but they don't dry up I've been really impressed with them actually um, somebody did ask me how my Artex pens were doing and they're, they're still <clears throat> they're still going strong they have not dried up they're working really well um, okay got a couple of little dots left there we go I think we've covered the dots 
And one last thing, folks. Now, I might try... I usually use Stickles Diamond, but this is Icicle. So I might try that on their crowns, actually. So I'm going to put... We'll test it on a piece of paper, Lucy. There we go. We're running, I think. Um, is it running at all? Yeah, it's just not as obvious as um, Diamond. But we're going to put that in. And hope for the best. Hope it shows up. If not, I'll go over with Diamond. It will not be thwarted, folks. A little bit in there. And on oh, his jewels. It is coming out. It's just not very obvious, is it? Just much more subtle. Okay. All right. Let's put that put that back. I've got a bit of foam with holes in it, but um, I store my stickles upside down then. <laughs> so can we? I can't even see those stickles. I have to wait and see if they dry. Okay, right, let's come out and have a look. Now, I know there's been some incredible versions of this page. Um, I know um, Peter Hewitt did a beautiful version of this page, but that's not me. I can't create the art like she does. She's an incredible person, incredible artist. So, the two dots, look, they always try and escape me. So we'll have a pink without putting my hand in stickles. I'll have a pink and we'll have a yellow. There we go. All right, folks, and there we are, our Easter page. I've really enjoyed doing it. And it's kind of evolved from, um, I think our daffodils look very different to how we started. Um, but I'm really pleased with how it's come out. I think it's a cute page. I may be going back in with my diamond stickles. What is going on? I can't even see those. Anyway, <laughs> enough waffle from me. Happy Easter to you all. And um, that's why I brought you this page. So um, I've got, in the next couple of days, I've got a pile of the most incredible gifts that people have sent me. It's so lovely. Um, and it, it really, it really does touch my heart. I know I say that all the time, but it really does. This channel, I wouldn't be able to keep this channel going if it wasn't for the beautiful donations and the, the gifts that people send to me um, I just wouldn't be able to keep up with it so thank you so so much and thank you for your support just a thumbs up a subscribing and a liking really gets my channel out there and helps so anyway enough of that so I'm gonna let you go folks thank you so much for joining me and until we meet again in the very near future take really good care of yourselves folks night night <laughs>